How would you like to make a thousand percent return on your money instead of just 10%? Let me show you how. Hey guys, what's going on? Uriel Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. We help entrepreneurs and coaches grow their coaching businesses online. And this channel is all about helping you with your marketing mindset and money. And I want to share with you in this video, the best place to invest your money. And I'm going to speak from personal experience here because I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I here to give you financial advice in that context. But wouldn't it be cool if for every dollar you invested, you could make a thousand percent return or 10 times your money instead of just 10%. Now I say 10% because if we look over time, the average rate of return on the stock market is about 10%. And yes, obviously there are investments out there that produce way bigger results, but I'm just using an average if you just threw your money into the market. Okay, so how does this happen? Wow, what is this investment strategy? Well, the simple answer to this question is investing in you. That's right. you. Inc. is the best investment to make. And let me share a couple examples with you. When I started my business in 2006 online, I didn't invest anything other than the odd you know, $30 ebook. And for three years, I lived with, I survived somehow on poverty line income. And that was a really challenging time because I was really hustling and I was paddling my boat really hard, but I wasn't really getting anywhere. And then I made a shift. At the end of 2009, I sat down at Starbucks and I said, hey dude, what are we doing here? Like, it's not working. We have to do something different. So I vowed the following year to start attending live events and to hire a coach. And just bear in mind, I didn't have the money to do this, okay? So that was my commitment. I said, I need to start doing something different. I need to start investing in myself and my business. So the following quarter of, of Q, the Q1 of, of 2010, I attended three events, uh, online marketing events. And at one of those events, I met my eventual uh, first mentor and coach and I made that investment. And it was more money than I had made in the previous year in business. Okay, so I just want you to understand this. Like I'm not talking about investing money that you have to have sitting in a briefcase. The beautiful thing about investing in yourself is you can leverage credit. When you invest in the stock market, market, for the most part, you're using cash and that's fine. And I'm not saying we should use credit to buy shoes and consumable goods, but when it comes to you and your business, leveraging credit is one of the best things you can do. And this is why. So from 2010 to currently 2022 ish, I've invested more than $1.1 million in myself in the form of coaching, mentorships, masterminds, and events, ways of learning, of improving my skill set, etc. Now, if I had used that same amount of money, $1.1 million and put it into the market, I would have seen a 10% return. Let's just call it that 10% of $1.1 million. Let's just keep it easy. 10% of a million dollars is a hundred thousand dollars, right? So my capital would be a million plus a hundred thousand, 1.1 million. Not bad, right? Pretty good return. But over 10, 12 years, I don't know. By contrast, the 1.1 million that I invested in myself, I've seen a 10x plus multiple return on that. So instead of getting a 10% return, I've seen a thousand percent return on that investment. And it's actually even more than that. I've made tens of millions of dollars over the past 12 years. So the, I mean, when you look at if I had taken that money and put it into the market or even real estate and maybe seen a little bit of a jump, nothing is gonna compare to the return you will see on you and your business. So that's the mindset I want you to have. Now I wanna share a couple things that I did to you know get me to where I am now. And, and by no means is the journey over. I mean, I, I continue to grow. I continue to learn. I continue to invest in myself because I don't have all the answers, right? None of us do. And we continue learning. We must continue growing until the day that we bite the dust. So a couple things that I think are really important for an entrepreneur, especially online to really master and learn about. I spent the early part of those years really, really studying and learning copywriting, learning how to write online uh, or I mean to be honest communication as I've mentioned a million times before communication is the number one skill you must develop we must develop as entrepreneurs rather communicating ideas to the marketplace or we're communicating to our team or internally in ourselves right there's two important skills under the umbrella of communication one is copywriting and copywriting is essentially salesmanship in print it's the ability to write words that move people to action now when I say copywriting I'm talking about every place where you would type words on the internet. And honestly, this can be even physical mail. So if you're sending letters to people, uh, direct mail, magalogs, newsletters, it's the same thing. Content should incorporate elements of copywriting. There's a very big difference between writing content and copywriting. And I think if you can understand how to marry both worlds, you become very persuasive. And I'm talking about 
captions on your Instagram posts, headlines of your YouTube videos, emails, email subject lines, learning how to write a landing page, headlines, Facebook ads, everywhere you would be typing words on your computer that would end up online needs to incorporate the principles of good copywriting. And again, good copywriting is about not being a, uh, an amazing writer. It's about being able to connect with your reader in such a way where they feel understood. And where I feel like a lot of people don't understand this, when it comes to content writing, they're more focused on their content than on their reader or their viewer. And I think copywriting is a great skill to learn because very much like selling, it's not about you. It's about getting into the mind of the prospect. And the better you can do that, the better your writing and communication connects with them. The more they feel understood by you, the more likely they're gonna do business with you. Cool? So copywriting is the first skill. There's no amounts of money you can spend. That would be too much on copywriting. Second skill under communication is selling. So this is verbal selling. I'm talking about in person, over the phone, on Zoom, at live events, over a group, whatever you want to do. Same principles apply with copywriting as with selling. Like you have to learn how to move people from where they are to where they want to be and be able to have uncomfortable conversations and ask difficult questions and sit in silence. And that takes practice. And that's something that I still spend a good amount of time developing and learning because when I was starting out as a trainer and nutritionist, I was number one, underpaid. Uh, number two, I was overworked. And that combination is never good. And I had an issue with selling. I had an issue asking people for money. And you know, when I think about this now, I'm like, dude, you're gonna pay me 1500 bucks for the next four months for me to transform your body? That's a steal. At the time, I didn't think that. So I think there's, you know, these two important skills of copywriting and selling are the two fundamental skills we all have to develop if we wanna grow a successful coaching business. Now, aside from that, as you grow, I mean, there's obviously other things you're gonna learn. Like the thing is like new levels, new devils. So as you grow from a base of like zero to let's say half a million dollars, copywriting and sales are gonna be the two primary skills. Then after that, you're gonna get into things that around operational systems, leadership, et cetera, hiring, blah, blah, blah. And these are all skills that you have to learn over time as you scale this ladder. It's very much like a video game, right? If you think of uh, like The Legend of Zelda, which is a game I still haven't even finished, uh, not that I play it anymore, but as a kid, you get from one level to another and you acquire these tools to help you beat the bad guy. And you know, if you're at level two, you're gonna stay at level two. Like you can't get to level three un unless you skill up to get to level three. And so that's what business is all about as well. It's this whole skill stacking process to get from where you are to where you wanna go. So whether you're investing in books, audiobooks, courses, mentorships, coaching programs, masterminds, live events, it's all good. Now, what I will say is this, free information is fine, right? Like, I mean, this video is free. And I also am very aware that most people watching this video are gonna do absolutely nothing with it. And the reason for that is because you're not paying for it. So let's just be very honest. When you don't pay, you don't pay attention. And while I do believe free information is awesome, and I do think it's a great insight into what it would be like to work with a business or a person or whatever, it doesn't move the needle. Let's just be very honest. I mean, you could watch every single one of my YouTube videos. In fact, I'll challenge you on this. Watch every single video on this channel. And I promise you, your business will grow 10x. But guess what? You're not going to do it. And the reason is because you're not paying me. And it's as simple as that. And if you're like, no, no, Yuri, I'm not that. No, you are. We all are, okay? As an example, I invested in a parenting course about a year and a half ago, and it was $297. And I'm still trying to figure out uh, when the last time was that I actually logged into the course. And I want you to really reevaluate how you approach making decisions and investing in yourself, because it doesn't matter if it's $10 or $100 or $1,000 or $10,000 or more. Every single one of those investments makes a difference and it adds up. And if you wanna start with something that's 50 bucks, that's fine. But be okay and be willing to invest in yourself because listen, like we've spoken with more than 6,300 health professionals and coaches in the past two years on the phone. Most of them are not working with us. Now, obviously there's some, a bunch of them are not a fit, but there are those who are like, this is exactly what I need, but I, out of fear, I'm not doing it, right? The thing that I realized is that value is an extraction game. So we're a lot of us are worried that we're gonna get scammed or it's gonna be a waste of money or it's not gonna produce results. And that's a lot of times based on prior experience. Like we invested in a course or something else that wasn't good. Therefore, we think that everything else is gonna be the same. And that's like having one bad relationship and thinking all men or women are gonna be the same. Like it, it doesn't make logical sense. So when you remove the emotions and think about this logically, you really have to ask yourself, am I the type of person who is looking for things to be handed to me and I have this sense of 
of entitlement, in which case you're not growth oriented, in which case invest in the stock market and make 10% investing in companies you have no idea about. But I don't think that's who you are. The other person is the type of person who is growth oriented, who takes ownership of the results, who understands that their results are on them and therefore value is an extraction game. I'll just give an example, right? So like in the thousands of clients that we've worked with, naturally there are some people who don't get any results and there are those who crush it and there are many in between. So what's the difference? The same program, same strategy, same coaching. What's the difference? It's the individual. If you think of school, you went to school with hundreds of other people, same class, same material, same teacher. Everyone had different grades. What's the difference? Each individual person. So value is an extraction game. You cannot go into a coaching program or a course and sit back and like, I wasn't given anything. I'm blaming you. It's your fault. That is how losers think. And if that's how you think, you're not going to get anywhere in life. And I'm very serious about this. There's a lot of grown ups who are babies in adult clothing. And until you take ownership for your results, nothing is going to help you. And I really want you to let that sink in. But I don't think that's who you are. I think you're here because you're growth oriented and you point the finger at your Yourself, no matter what happens. A number of years ago, I invested in a speaking mastermind and it was a, a significant chunk of change at the time. I wasn't happy with the whole experience, to be very honest. I mean, I thought it was very expensive for what we got out of it, but I'm not the type of person who's like, this is shit. I want my money back. That's not who I am. I take ownership for the fact that I made the commitment and I invested in it. And I said to myself, all right, well, it's not as great as maybe I was hoping or that they were promising, but let me make the most of this. Let me get at least one thing out of this that can make a big difference. And from that mastermind, there was a number of things that maybe didn't work out that well, but I had one thing that did work out really, really well that led to, I would say a multiple of five to seven X based on what I paid for the actual mastermind itself. And, and that's because I found a way to make the most of the situation. So when we look at, you know, investing in ourselves, it's you have to understand that you have to take ownership for your results. And the reason I love investing in you and your business in terms of like you yourself doing that is because if you think of just sound investing principles, like think of Warren Buffett, he says, I never invest in anything I don't understand. Well, do you understand you and your business maybe more than anything else? Yeah, kind of makes sense. If you invest in random companies on the stock market because some buddy of yours gave you a tip, the fuck is that? Like, do you even understand who that company is? Do you know who their board of directors are? Do you, do you know who their CEO is? Do you know his core values? Do you know his vision? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, we will fork over all this money into the stock market, yet we don't even consider whether those companies are legit versus investing in yourself and your own business, which you have 1 million percent control over and you know exactly where you are headed. Why would you not do that? And even in those investments that maybe don't pan out the way you want them to, right? The course is meh, the coaching program wasn't what you wanted it to. Shut up and just make the most of it. Please, like get the most out of the situation no matter what. Because in every single opportunity, every single situation, there are lessons to be learned. I ask my kids this every single day when we sit down for dinner. What did you learn today? And the answer is like, I don't know, or nothing. I'm like, that's an unacceptable answer that is never going to happen in this household because what that means is you're so close-minded to all of the opportunities around you and you have to be able to look at them the most nuanced opportunities like hey there's a fox walking in my backyard what can i learn from that situation you might be saying well what the hell does that have to do with anything well it might not have anything to do with anything but it can also have everything to do with everything and this is why you as an individual have to learn how to extract more value from everything that you endeavor into so it, it doesn't matter if you spent a thousand dollars five thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand dollars on the last thing that thing was not a waste of money. It got you to where you are and it probably gave you a couple insights, skills and growth to get you to where you are now. And that's all good because now you're ready for the next thing. It's not that this was terrible and this is better. It's that was the best you knew at the time. You made the most of the situation and now you're ready for more. Because if you don't see it that way and everything from the past was a waste of money and it didn't work out and it was a failure and a scam, then that's not gonna give you a lot of confidence to continue investing in yourself moving forward because you're gonna be so skeptical about everything. So I encourage you to change the narrative in your mind and be open-minded that even if things didn't work out as well as you wanted to in some of those previous decisions, they were perfect for you at the time. You had to learn some stuff. You had to go through some growth to where you are now and things will get better moving forward.
Cool. So that is the best place to invest in yourself. It's you and your business first and foremost all the time. And yes, here's the cool thing is the more you invest in you and your business, the more everything is going to grow. Your business grows as a direct proportion to your personal growth. So personal growth precedes business growth. The more you grow, the more your business grows. And here's the cool thing. As your business grows, what's going to happen? It's going to make more money. If you make more money, assuming you have profit, which you should, you're going to have more net free cash flow. When you have more net cash flow, you're going to have all this money sitting in the bank and you're going to say to yourself, well, what do I do with this? At that point, you can continue reinvesting in yourself and you can then start taking some of that money that your cash cow is now producing and you can look at investing it in other avenues to allow that money to work for you, whether it's real estate, crypto, index funds, you know, whatever it is. But we can't start by just taking your working income and throwing it right into investments because that is the slowest way to grow your wealth, the fastest way to grow your wealth and your personal character is by developing your skills. Invest in yourself for first and foremost. So if that's making sense to you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And remember, don't go anywhere without watching the next video. If you want to learn how to get better at selling, we talked about this, watch the next video. It's my $217 million sales framework. It's exactly what we show our clients how to do. And it's exactly what you can do to help grow your coaching business, enroll more clients and help more people. So watch that video next and I'll see you there.